Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Cupid Parasite. Possibly the last episode of Cupid Parasite? Our, we're very, we're very near the end of the secret route, the Jupiter route. And Zeus is on full offensive. He's <laughs> after Lynette and uh, Jupiter had a nice heart to heart. Lynette learned some truths about her time in heaven. Um, Zeus decided to just go ahead and attack Celestia and eat all the gods so he could be the one god that everyone worships. And he decided to kidnap Lynette. And yeah, now we're in this church. This, I don't know, is, is this a Greek Orthodox church? Uh, we're probably, he's not, probably not going to do something nice to us. Um, considering what he's done in myths. <laughs> And the fact that he hates the concept of love. He, he's probably not gonna not gonna be very lovely with this, it seems like. Alright, let's begin the beginning of the end. The love of Parasite 6. After I was taken away by Zeus, he pinned me on a pedestal in an unfamiliar place. Let go! Let me go! I wriggled in an attempt to free myself from the restraints, but they wouldn't budge. Oh. Yeah, she won't be able to shoot him with her arrow with his arrows that way. Or her arrows. Can can Zeus fall in love? Doesn't seem like he loved anyone. Didn't even love his wife. Let go! Let me go! <laughs> Pathetic! A mere Cupid can never remove them. Behold, true omniscient power! Zeus mocked me in a sing-song voice as he prepared his ritual. First, he lit a torch ablaze and poured wine into a chalice. Oh, having a little sacrament, are we? It was an ominous act, as if you were trying to commune with a demon. I struggled to break free, desperate for him to stop. Hey Zeus, what are you planning? Do you really intend to devour the gods? Yes, of course. Their strength will become my own. At last, I'll be complete. All has gone according to plan. You're becoming just like your father, who ate, tried to eat everybody. I guess, I guess, I guess, yeah. They say that, like, whatever the parent does, does have a great influence on their children. But why do this? I thought you wanted to protect and work with them before you were sealed? Zeus suddenly paused at my question. Did he want to work with them? I feel like he... I feel like he was getting a little out of hand, which is why they decided to seal him. He spun his head and gazed back at me with a dead expression. Work... with them? Y yeah that's what I said. Aren't you all siblings? Ha! Don't make me laugh! I was only using them. You're delusional if you think that you call that working with them. I am the brain and they are my limbs. Arms and legs cannot function without instructions from the brain, no. A brain cannot permit its arms and legs to overpower its will. So I intend to devour them. I will not stand for their betrayal. He's mad. He's, he's really mad at that betrayal. But did he, did, I, I guess he didn't have that familial love. Like, like he was just using them, and and then they got tired of being used and abused. He seriously, furiously slammed the table with his fist, and then he th he then turned his gaze up to the empty sky. <laughs> Bleh. Words are hard today. <laughs> a little bit tired. Oh, I hate them. How I hate them. Those 12 Olympians. How dare they seal me. I'll never forgive them. You as well, Cupid. How dare you try to usurp me in fame. A mere underling. Huh? Fame? You know, I am the greatest god to ever live. 
Unlike my cowardly brother, Zeus can never be eclipsed by Jupiter. But those measly humans think us to be the same god. Their uncultured reverence for love has tainted the purpose of Cupid. They even stole the name for some company. Oh, yeah, he's a he's a wrathful guy. He doesn't like doesn't like the names of the gods being used in vain. Cupid Corporation, memories of where I'd worked as an intern came rushing to me. That is why I especially hate Cupid. And why the very notion of controlling love disgusts me. I have never believed in love. It causes nothing but pain. It has no place in this world. From henceforth, devotion shall only come in the form of worship and obedience. That's all. Why? Love is amazing. Have you never loved anyone? Also, if love didn't exist, like, how do you think? How do you think the birth rate's gonna go up? You just get, are you just gonna like order people to do it? <laughs> and, and, and I'm sure you want the birth rate to go up so you have more worshippers, right? Never meet and love. <laughs> again. As the Lord God, I am only fit to receive love. I see no one deserving of my own. But, but, weren't you and Lady Juno married? He's a, he's a narcissist. Like, Juno loved him, but he didn't think of the same of her. Juno? I have no desire to speak further of her. It's because of her that I feel this way. The anguish. She soiled it all for me. Instead, I choose to live on my own terms. All living things exist to serve me, without getting anything in, re in return. The eyes of Zeus did not waver as he put his hand to his, ch to his chest. Love, for starters, is a coping mechanism for creatures who cannot live sufficiently, correct? It evolves from a lack, a need, discovered from loneliness. Only animals feel incomplete. Thus, they seek love to fill that need. But I have everything I need on my own. I am both man and woman. But look at those other gods and the humans. It sickens me. Me, the perfect god, relegated to the role of a stone in mythology. A stone! A stone? True, Jupiter did save us when we tricked Cronus into ingesting that substance. But I am the one who proved himself as the god of all gods by defeating Cronus. I am the one true Lord God. I spread my seed across the lands and, sh <laughs> and shared my divine blood with mankind. So why am I the one who is sealed? Spreading his wild oats everywhere, that sounds like Zeus! I harnessed my omniscience by devouring Metis and gave birth to Athena. I, Zeus, am the pinnacle of divinity. But they sealed me for ages! After Juno exiled me to the underworld, I floated in the fires of hell for 99 nights. I found no peace! Nor comfort, nor hope. Have you any idea how long I've suffered? I, Zeus, the true Lord God, refuse to suffer again. That is why I must do this. But the other gods have learned to embrace their shortcomings and work together to make up for them. Don't invite that loneliness. Loneliness? Foolish girl. You think I fear loneliness? Firstly, mankind themselves crave only one provider. A singular creator. Polytheism has long since fallen out of fashion. You can thank the Crusades for that. Humans struggle to know where to place their faith in the presence of multiple gods. If I am the unquestionable god, they'll have no choice. 
the one God seen by the prophets was me. History will be rewritten in my image. Yes, it's only a matter of time until humans submit their will to me, and me alone. My legacy will be everlasting. Zeus bellowed his thunderous declaration. Then, for some reason, he began to undress. Oh God! Oh no! Oh oh! Um, he's not gonna do any pancreation, is he? Probably not. What? Where's his pants? His pants are gone. He kept his top on, though. He only removed his lower half's clothing. He was naked below the waist. What's down there? He said he was both man and woman. I, he can go both ways. I guess. I guess that's kind of fun, but still. Here, Cupid. I must fulfill my right. What? <laughs> Forgive me, but I cannot show you the upper half of my body. Being half woman, you know, it's a gesture of modesty. Wait, hold on. What's going on here? How do we get to this point? <laughs> me, me and the same Lynette. I don't know. He's all talking about like, I don't need love. And I'm not lonely. Alright, let's do it. What? Hmm? I said I would devour you, didn't I? What? You <laughs> Did you think I'd bite your head off? Like Saturn eating his son? I mean, yeah. I, I thought... You're going to do that devouring, not that devouring. Do you have teeth down there, sir? Not to spoil things for you, but Goya's interpretations are nonsense. But the only way for this to work is to do it myself. I wasn't sure what he meant until he pointed his eyes downward. Eek! It was, this was grim. I shudder to think of what he was proposing. Do not fret. There's a reason for my colorful reputation. <laughs> if only I could see the look in Jupiter's eyes if you were here to watch me eat you. Oh, thank you, Zeus, for doing what I could never Will he pay me the respect I deserve, or... Will he decry its unfairness? Would he stew in his helpless anger? Or will he accuse me of stealing his beloved Cupid? I bet that would really anger him. You need to be very obsessed with, uh, putting down your brother. Zeus curled his lips into a malicious grin and stepped closer to me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help, Lynette, you have a whistle! Ah! His frightening figure loomed above me. Not even Jupiter and I have gotten to this point yet! No! Help me, Jupiter! <laughs> he found us! C Cupid! <laughs> what the? Uh, a butt? I'm gonna touch the butt, Gil. Oh no, Gil's superpower stumbling. The church doors flew open and a group stormed in. They were suddenly confused by Zeus's half-naked appearance. He got, got caught with his pants down. <laughs> what the hell is that? That does, doesn't look normal. Oh, now you're just gonna hurt his feelings. <laughs> now that is perfection. How is that even possible? I must admit, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, I don't know, is it? They're not gonna show us, but... <laughs> even, even as... <laughs> oh no, even as... <laughs> even as Wiener gets 100% Ryuki's eyes. <laughs> Stop! He's got a demon of his own. Wow, crazy, it's huge! Wait, Zeus, are you still wearing a top because you're androgynous? <laughs> Alright, All right, calm down. 
Yes, indeed. I am the pinnacle of existence. There is no greater being than me. The distinction between man and woman is no longer necessary, and no other androgen androgenies need to exist apart from myself. What? So there's more of you? Just like Plato's Symposium. We really are in a myth. Pinch me, I'm dreaming. No, you're not! Hurry up and save me, Lynette's like, come on, guys! <laughs> I'm about to get our word. <laughs> if this is allowed to go on, Zeus will have his way with me. I tried once more to contort myself, but Jupiter shot me a wide-eyed glance. His body clenched with murderous intent. Finally, someone cares! Zeus! How dare you even think of defiling Cupid! He's mad! Comes the thunder! Whoa! With a raised hand, Jupiter summoned a bolt of lightning that blasted the pedestal and my shackles. I could hear Zeus cackling behind me as I sprinted over to the group. Okay, she's freed already. Jupiter! Nice expression you've got! Is that jealousy I detect? I thought they only granted you storage because you were such a failure. How dare you pretend to act appalled. Only you, a fake god, can be so deceiving. You're nothing more than my shadow. An incompetent excuse for a god. Jupiter and Zeus exchanged hateful piercing glares. The air was charged with electricity. I wasn't absent on my own accord. I'm the one who fought Typhon in Gigantomachia. It's you who fled to Egypt. <laughs> Only because I attempted to usurp the title of Supreme God in those lands. Because I appeared in my animal form, they did not recognize me as you see me now. But their Supreme God is none other than me. Okay, while, Ju while Jupiter was doing all the work, he's just like, praise me. <laughs> just basking in the glory. You're, are you sure you're the supreme god? You seem, seem a little bit, a little bit useless when push comes to shove. Wait, so you're the god of creation in Egypt too? Correct. I am inevitable. At least one of you seems to recognize it. It's hopeless, Jupiter. End this charade and merge with me. I'm sure you and Cupid will have plenty of time to catch up in my stomach. Zeus spoke in an affected way, as if to prod a reaction from Jupiter. The former stretched out his slender arms and enticed his estranged brother. But Jupiter responded by pointing his spear at Zeus. Brother, I've... I've always endured. Always. Always. I've always endured without you. I cleaned up all your messes without complaining. But I am not your shadow. I am Jupiter, the current god of all gods. Ha! Don't be silly, Jupiter, you coward. What do you think you're doing? There's no place for you here. As we speak, the humans in this realm all worship me. I hate to break it to you, but it won't be that easy. An extremely attractive goddess has descended from Celestia to infatuate all the men. Wait, what? <laughs> what? No way! You mean Venus? Not to mention all the guys stuck in their dreams. I called in a favor from a fellow demon. Men's dreams make great meals for succubi. Did, did Claris just become, like, the goddess of all men's, like... <laughs> I'm just gonna seduce every man on the planet. All hail, Lord Claris. 
I also posted a scantily clad thirst trap for my Insta my Instagram. So I think my fans may have had their hands full, Zeus. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to derail God. How 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 far we've strayed from God. I uploaded a series of love letters on the web and it's already trending. Critics are being moved by what they're calling a perfect show of devotion. Susan just like, whoa, 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 what? Wait. My company has announced a free membership campaign. Luckily for us, men and women both are signing up faster than ever before. Oh. Shall we put his business on the line here? No way. Why would I believe such a stupid story? See for yourself. <laughs> is it gonna show him like social media or something? Ah yes, social media, the bane of God. Mr. Snail then pulled his phone from his pocket and selected the news app. That's it, that's how we derailed Zeus. Oh look at this destruction. <laughs> Currently Los York is seeing an abnormal weather, causing a lot of confusion. A mysterious phenomenon where the sky is turning red is happening, and according to the opinions of experts. Urgent news! Uh, it seems... It seems that a beautiful woman has come down from the sky. We will broadcast live on location. Oh, uh, the world is ending. Wait. Wait, hold on. Change subject here. <laughs> and there's Venus. Hello! My name is Venus. Maybe you've heard of me. The one and only goddess of beauty that was famously painted by Botticelli himself. Hi, here's today's funny news topics. Actor Roel Aconite is the topic on everyone's list since suddenly uploading a semi-nude photo on his Instagram. Also, Cupid Corporation started a free membership promotion and people are flooding to the front of the building now. Who cares that the world's ending? Free, free membership. There's more! An urban legend about having strangely sexy dreams is becoming a hot topic on Instagram. Oh. Something about Gil. Sorry. Uh, in addition, a long love letter written by Gil Lovecraft is spreading all over. I don't know why that, like, cut away so fast. This is what's happening. Why? Why? My influence is splintered! You know, humans have short attention spans. <laughs> you, did you expect this? You didn't expect this to happen, did you? I mean, I mean, back in the day, there's probably some hardcore worshippers, but now we have TV and video games. Humans must obey the gods. My domination is absolute, isn't it? Your domination may seem absolute, but you underestimate their capacity to feel. It has made you soft. Also, you <laughs> you underestimate their attention spans. Humans can decide what and how to love for themselves. While you are gone, Zeus, humans have evolved into a beautiful, inspirational species. I won't let you take control of them again. Wait! I won't forgive you for interrupting me! In the veins in Zeus's forehead bulged as he summoned lightning. Guess again! You won't win this time! Jupiter spun around and absorbed the bolts of lightning which had been flung towards us. Cupid! Shoot the six of us with your arrows! We'll form a barrier from all six love types! Are we- oh god, it's gonna be the parasite harem again! <laughs> gonna make you all fall in love with Lynette! What? Wait, won't shooting me with the arrow cause me to disappear? I mean, you were alive in the parasite harem ending, so no. You were just- you, you just- you were just mistaken in your route. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't want to test it if, like, you're a demon and you're about to get hit by a divine artifact. Cupid's bow doesn't work that way. The arrow might sting, but you'll be f just fine. Am I supposed to take your word for it? <laughs> yeah. Plus, you're an ex-angel. Divine artifacts can't really hurt you. 
As the god of all gods, I promise you. Trust me. All right. I'll trust you. Besides, I live for her. As mania, I'll give it my all. Now, Cupid, fire! Yes. When I raised Cupid's bow as commanded, my task immediately came into focus. The love types, all six types, has centralized into a singular power, which now brim throughout the realm. Agape. Pragma. Eros. Ludus. Mania. And Storage. Love's Inferno is gathering flame. I just have to shoot each of them and connect them with Cupid's bow. Whoa! What's going on? My body feels weird! It's the agape down there. What? Pragma? What in the world? You all see it too? I've amplified their powers. Everyone, call out the name which speaks to you. Cupid, fire your arrow right into their souls. Here we go. Surround Zeus. Huh? What are you? Oh. Gil, you go first. Now call out the name of love. Okay. Agape. Pragma. Eros. Lotus. Mania. And finally, Storage. What? What is this? What do you think you're doing? Rings of six different colors appeared around Zeus, encasing him. We're like the Power Rangers. <laughs> Got all six of us here. <laughs> this Zeus is love! Human, demon, god! Their collective love is the lifeblood of this world! This is- the, I don't like how he's biting his lip like that. <laughs> Not if I have anything to do about it! Sparks of energy crackled in the air as Zeus struggled to free himself from the light, but it was no use. Is he gonna fall in love? Or is love- is, maybe love will just like, I can't handle this emotion, poof. D damn it! What sorcery is this? There's no way love is capable of this. Love is fragile. Breakable. Right? Not to spoil the party for you, but everyone here proves otherwise. Love's strength is unbreakable. Just ask Cupid. Zeus, you mentioned love is a coping mechanism to combat loneliness, but love alone overpowers all of their feelings. Even men who become parasites over broken hearts. Pres prestige, glamour, obsession, thievery, and sensitivity. They are capable of harnessing love's infinite power, even by themselves. I refuse! I will never believe in love! What you speak of doesn't exist! No! No! I- I won't acknowledge it! None of you ever showed me that kind of love! Brother! You once had a goddess who gave herself openly and fully to you, and you abandoned her! I... I didn't mean to! No! It was never love from the start! You swallowed your wife and child because you're no better than your father! Gods don't fall prey to circumstance! Farewell, Zeus! So much for the all-powerful god! Rest in peace! And the bell tolls for Zeus. Okay, I couldn't quite replicate the, like, a death scream. <laughs> the six rings of light fastened around Zeus, then vanished in a flash. 
All that was left was a stone, which hit the ground with a thud. Oh, is that his true identity? It, this was the mythical stone of legend, Zeus, who had been swallowed by Cronus instead of his twin brother, Jupiter. All of a sudden, I felt a cold breeze, followed by the patter of raindrops. But it wasn't the same threatening rain which Zeus had summoned. It was the rain of the gods, a blessed rain. Wash it all, wash all the bad stuff away. It, it's done. Relief completely washed over me. I was drained of all energy. I was ready to pass out. As I looked around me, it was a feeling shared among all of us. Did she like drain all her powers? Is that, is that, is she still in danger of that? She like shot six arrows. Okay, next chapter. Beginning of a new myth. Now that Zeus is out of the picture. Cupid? Who is this? Who this? I heard someone call my name from a distance. Cupid, please! Wake up! My love is... crying. He's in pain and anguish. I sense him tremble, scared as ever. I need to hug him and let him know I'm okay. Cupid! Jupiter? When I opened my eyes, I saw that pitiful face with eyes puffy from crying. Oh, after, after that display of power? What a relief! Thank goodness! I was beginning to think you'd never wake! Jupiter! No need to panic. I just needed to rest up. Wait, huh? Is this... Celestia? Yes. All of you fainted, so I teleported us here. I see. Oh, what happened to Zeus? That was, uh... Right. Zeus has been sealed again. The people have no need for him. All is right again. People don't need him, nor do they need to be ruled by an absolute god. Maybe one day Zeus will return, should humanity decide it needs a savior. But that's not today. So long as people can still be swayed by Mr. Aconite's photos. Or Gil's love letters, at least. Are the Wait, is Zeus, like, not dead? Maybe, is he just, like, sealed within a stone? <laughs> there, could be a, there could be a Zeus route. <laughs> Make him learn true love. I don't know what you call his, like, love type. Does he have a love type? <laughs> He's a narcissist. More importantly, are you okay? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm okay. You don't have to worry about me. But you... You fired six golden arrows at once! Oh, right. It expends my life force. Yeah, that. <laughs> Are you okay? Still here, but... But I haven't disappeared yet. Maybe all the time I spent on customers at Pillow Luxuria is finally paying off. Oh yeah! How about the others? The others are... What a relief! You're awake! You're all up here, you guys can breathe. Whoa! In that moment, the five ran into my bed at once from outside my room. They're all here. All <laughs> the gang's all here. Even even Shelby and Ryuki, who didn't get a chance to even like look at Celestia, all of them grasped my hand and had teary eyes. Oh no, are they all in love with me? What? You brought them to Celestia too? They've been touched by divine power. We couldn't just leave them there. Also, oh, are they gonna become gods? Never be able to get away from them. I was worried sick about you. I'll never let you go. Me neither. I couldn't say goodbye without making love at least once. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, hold on. Bro, put your pants back on. Same here. 
You're all I can think about. Please marry me. Mm, me too. I never want to be separated from you. Not before I confess my true feelings. <laughs> this is the parasite here, I'm ending. Wait. Are we just gonna let him, like, feel this way? Or are we gonna shoot them with, with the lead arrow? <laughs> Don't forget about me. My heart aches for you. Your voice is as soft as a tri as trickling rivers. Oh, my love. My darling. What's all this? Remember when you fired Cupid's bow to seal Zeus? Uh, well, this was an un unintended side effect. <laughs> sure, I guess. In other words, everyone who was hit by one of my arrows was infatuated with me. Anyway, my heart can rest knowing that you're okay. I have some matters to which I must attend. Get some rest. Please take these other guys with me before they... <laughs> before they climb all over Lynette. Oh, Jupiter! The Jupiter, don't just leave me here with all these... All these guys. It's irresponsible. I tried following Jupiter as he left the room, but the Parasite 5 clung to me all at once. Dude, you just left me here? With five wolves? Jeez. Please, don't go. Hey, old man, get your grimy hands off of her. I was in... I was first in line. Hey, over here. I mean, technically, we're first. Old man, you're just a kid. A young adult, not a kid. Out of my way, she's mine. Uh, I love her more since years ago. No matter how long or how far life takes us. Uh, guys, could we all tone it down? How could we? How can you expect me to attain the most passionate love of my life? That goes double for me, my darling. I love you. I'm sure there's plenty of love for us to go around. <laughs> We're just all gonna share Lynette. Oh, that's a great idea. I've always wanted to cross that off the list. What? <laughs> that is that is not a threesome. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know why you'd have that on your list. That's enough from you two. Besides, I've got to run, so just sit tight, okay? Run, Lynette, run. Once I managed to push them off of me, I ran around Celestia in search of Jupiter. But I give you peace, give a piece of my mind. Don't leave me here with five men. <laughs> He's like, oh, that shall be fine. Not here. Oh, I went to my nervous room. Not here either. Not in the faucet. Found you! Oh, okay, you are at the faucet. Never mind. Gasp. Ha! She! I quickly threw my arms around him so that he couldn't escape from me, me again, prompting him to shriek madly. Oh, it's you! D don't frighten me like that! Oh, sorry. That wasn't the reaction I expected. Sorry, so, uh... I've just informed the Divine Soldiers not to come here, so I wasn't expecting any visitors. Anyways, are the others alright? A little bit too alright. No, actually. They're all hopelessly love-struck because of the Golden Arrow. I guess I've got to deal with that for the next 30 days. Wait, huh? I shot you too, right, Jupiter? Hey, are you all right? Yes, nothing's wrong. It could be because you've shot me before already. Does it, like, not work twice? Wait, wait, that's not it. It's probably because I'm already in love with... Huh? Oh. I know this Jupiter's cheeks filling with color, but I was more distracted by his dreamy eyes. I, I see. Yes. Our eyes both met and then glanced away at the same time. It was almost... I was almost embarrassed to look at him. Instead, I gazed into my reflection in the fountain. 
The fountain of matchmaking. I've delivered love for countless people over centuries. That was as Cupid, a goddess of love. But where do I go from here? There are so many revelations that I hardly had any chance to process them. I'm an ex-angel and a Cupid with an expiration date. The god of all gods was, in fact, a twin. And Zeus was the most selfish, egotistical gods I have ever met. So he sealed them away. But, but before that... Hey Jupiter, seems like I've forgotten to ask a very important question. What? Well, why did you ask me to go to the human realm in the first place? At first you said it was because you wanted to see me- you wanted to see them firsthand. But my time's almost up, isn't it? So why? Just for the sake of it? I mustered the courage to ask him to his face, and Jupiter curled his mouth into that usual pitiful expression of his. Ugh. I've actually been mulling over how to answer that question for you tactfully. What? My eyes traveled down the length of his arm and spotted a note clutched in his hand. Alright then, here it goes. Cupid, goddess of love. How can I begin to count the things I've learned during our time in the human realm? Wait, Jupiter, you don't need all those notes. Just speak from the heart. Oh, is he nervous? Is he, did he like make a speech? N -n no way! Do you know how long I've been running through these lines? But I want you to say it in your own words. I lowered my hands towards his to grab the note. After mumbling to himself incoherently, Jupiter finally put the notes down and began to speak. Very well. I'll keep things simple. The reason I sent you to the human realm is because I wanted you to be Juno. To be Juno? Who? Cupid. I'm talking about you. What? Cupid's? Becoming Juno? The goddess of love becoming the goddess of marriage? This is evolution. What? Me? Since Juno's disappearance, marriage rates have been on a steady decline. The longer her, ab her absence, the more it drops. It's like a... It's like a... Kind of a proposal? <laughs> because isn't like Juno's supposed to be... Jupiter's wife. Right? That it was Zeus and Hera, aka Jupiter slash Juno. I think. Might be mixing it up. So I hoped you could take up the mantle as the new goddess of marriage. I was speechless. His proposition was too good to be true. It's I it's what he was talking about since the beginning. And also what he was going to do, I think, in Alan's route, but then, yeah, she just decided to fall instead. Because unlike Cupid's in the lower lower strata of gods, Juno was included as one of the deconsentees, which I'm assuming would mean Lynette would last forever, she wouldn't expire anymore. Her importance could not be understated in Celestia, and her role was far beyond Cupid's. You mean like how angels ascend to the rank of Cupid? Precisely. Being promoted to Juno will prevent any worry of expiring as Cupid. I didn't know that. Which means the whole point of me visiting the human realm was to groom me as the next Juno? Sorry for keeping it a secret from you, but I wanted you to carry on as you were without pressure. If not for the Juno part, I also wanted you to experience university life from the eyes of a human. I just wanted her to live life a little bit. Wait, no. That's not it. Maybe I wanted a friend. Jupiter slacked his shoulders with a smile, 
gazing at me tenderly. I've told you, haven't I? I was the only one who Cronus didn't swallow, and I was raised by nymphs in the human realm. In short, I was the only god who got to see the human realm for what it really is. Th that experience left an, an impression on me. It often occurred to me that mankind doesn't think like we do, nor are they in need of our guidance like we expect them to be. That set me apart from the other 12 Olympians. They tend to think of themselves as shepherds. But that never sat well with me. That's what struck me the most about you. You're an outlier from the other angels too. Innocent, curious, and... You've kept growing, and it gave me hope. I've grown? Gods don't change. That's one of their faults. But I watched you smile about something that made you cry the day before. I soon realized that I was the one who was saved, all thanks to your free spirit. Jupiter touched my cheek softly and smiled. Jupiter's eyes glowed delicately. Those certainly belong to the god of all gods. If anyone... I thought if anyone could break could breathe some new life into this antiquated realm of the gods, it'd be you. That was the original reason. He moved his ste- his ste- he moved his- what? <laughs> he moved his finger steadily from my cheek to my shoulder, and the puppy dog eyes, which were normally Peter's trademark, honed in focus. <clears throat> the once sensitive parasite was terrified of everything, and certainly didn't seem like the god of all gods. But whenever we were together, I couldn't help from wishing it would last forever. I felt not only relief but joy around you. I chased that feeling to whatever end it would take me. The first night of restful slumber I had ever felt was when I became Chi. Imagine waiting an eternity to know what that's like. Chi? Memories of Chi bouncing happily before coming into my bed came to mind. I interpreted it as a playful gesture at first. Now I realize it was a chance for the sensitive parasite to feel true peace. I've lived in my brother's shadow for too long. Without him, I found it impossible to fill those shoes. The brief period I spent in Crete was my only chance to ask myself who I really was. When I'm with you, it's like I'm back in that cave. That is to say, you help me see what I must do to be the Jupiter of yore. Not the god of all gods, not the god of lightning, nor the sky god. Just plain old Jupiter. Wait, that's not it. That came out wrong. He shook his head petulantly and clasped my hands with both of his. Truthfully, I've always loved you. Since before you shot me with Cupid's bow. But I didn't know how to love you. I only felt an insatiable urge to keep you safe at all costs. But still, I stopped at nothing to be close to you. I loved your smile. It was like honey to a bee. But I couldn't tell you this. Not right away. I've never been good with women. Usually I run before they we have a chance to speak. Right. I remember how stiff Jupiter seemed when we first spoke. We exchanged only a few words, but I see now just how much courage it took him. Women with a grudge against Zeus held one against me, too. You can imagine how difficult that was for me. Can, can they not see the difference? I mean, they kind of look alike, but they, they're they not identical. <laughs> they're not identical twins. But it wasn't until I saw you as an angel that I realized it didn't always have to be that way. Only you could get me to stay. And that is why I followed you down to the human realm. I could have made a loftier confession about wanting to protect you. 
But the truth is, I just wanted you closer. Please, Lynette, become Juno and be my wife. You and I can rule the skies together. I know it's selfish of me to ask. It shouldn't come off as an order from the Supreme God. It has to come from you. Try as he might to hide it, Jupiter was practically begging me. The god of all gods who had lived for aeons before I came into being. I can only imagine how lonely some of those a aeons had felt. I want to fulfill his wish. But I had to ask, is it what I wanted to? No, I shouldn't even have to ask. The two of us even used to date. Even if, if it's because I shot him with Cupid's bow. But our dates showed me how kind, honest, and pure his love was. <laughs> I happily accept. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Because becoming Juno means marrying you, right? Does it also mean Lynette gets to live? <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Pretty difficult choice, huh? Do I expire and not be with my love? Or do I be with my love and live forever? <laughs> If I refuse, then someone else would become Juno. And no way would I let that happen. I smiled and stood on my stood on my tiptoes. I pressed my lips into his, and I can feel his smile beneath my kiss. Aw, smooch. Gasp. Right? As we pulled apart, I gazed deeply into Jupiter's eyes. But he returned with an astonished look. <clears throat> He paused before breaking into his usual stammer. Uh, are you sure? You accept? I guess, uh, you could think it over for a few days. Well, maybe not that long, but <laughs> you'd agonize. <laughs> yeah, when they say, like, I gotta think about it, that's probably, like, agony. Like, what? What's it? Like, think about it. Are you gonna say no? <laughs> Honestly... I spent- I think I spent more than enough time thinking about whether or not I love you. Hey Jupiter, do you love me? Wh Why are you asking me that- <laughs> asking me again? Didn't I just say so? I want to hear you say it again. Do you love me? I... love you. The words squeaked out from the corner of his mouth, as if his lips wouldn't sink with his tongue. I love you. He looked at me desperately and rubbed his nose onto mine. I love you. I saw the ache in his eyes and his fangs as he professed his love for me, so as the chief fangs. Do you want to bite me again? Wait, what? Uh, yes. More than anything. <laughs> okay, well, everyone's got their kinks. Jupiter nodded like an obedient puppy. His eyes were, were taken by a familiar intensity. Lust burned in his eager face. He bit into his lip, overwhelmed by the prospect. So I embraced him tightly. Okay, go ahead. Bite me as hard as you want, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not, 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 not as hard, that hard. Don't want, don't want to like, <laughs> break an artery or something. Like, I'm playing that just gush blood there. Oh, oh my. Where'd your shirt go? Wait, you said bite, not strip. Also, wow, <laughs> that dress linen, wowie wow. He bent to my shoulder and held me close. Are the other guys still like in the other room or something? <laughs> Are they listening? Hmm. I love you. I love you, Lynette. At last, he called me by my name, not my role, and he spoke his undying love for me into, into existence. I love you. 
I'll never, ever let you go. I am eternally yours. Same here, you know. If you pull a Zeus on me, I'll never forgive you. Let's not pull his brother into this. But why would I? I'm the sensitive parasite. Desperately nod at my neck, as if ready to devour me whole. In a way, he reminded me of Chi in, his, in this moment. The kind of proof of desire that couldn't be captured by a mere kiss. Aren't you gonna bite here? When I pointed at my lips, Jupiter's ears turned beet red. As you drew me in closer, why are you embarrassed about that? You're already, like, naked. <laughs> I won't bite here. Instead of biting, he pecked. Okay, yeah, biting on the lips would probably hurt a lot. <laughs> Jupiter gave me the softest kiss ever. We worshipped one another with our kisses. I love you. Soon we'll be wed and we can do this until the end of time. No matter what withers, so long as I exist, as long as the people pray. Always. Forever. Yes, let's be together forever. Chi, Peter, Jupiter. I called out the names of my beloved. Cupid, Lynette Mir, Juno. We had many names, and we kissed repeatedly. No matter what we called one another, or what role we were fated to play, he and I were in love, and nothing could tear us apart. I felt him slip a ring upon my finger. It was likely one of Juno's divine artifacts, not just the dress. He's probably busy taking off the dress. If I become Juno, I don't have to disappear. He and I are free to love another without fear. I love you. I love you. I promise. I'll never hold back again. He lost control of himself and kissed me. Our most pitiful yet tender kiss. The sky was a limit for us. We're gods and now we are wed. We locked fingers and shut our eyes. And while we kissed, I told him that he didn't have to be shy anymore. Is that the end? Okay, credits! The end! I'm gonna lower the volume, because for some reason it's very loud. Very, very loud. Is that good enough? Probably good enough. Okay! <laughs> uh... Interesting route. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, he was very cute. I mean, as S. Chi and as Peter. Uh, I don't think it was my favorite, though. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I still think Alan. Alan felt like the true fated couple. It just felt like they were made for each other. And I felt like... I feel like Jupiter got, got kind of in the way of that. Because, like... He, he broke up apart. Like, he was responsible for that. But otherwise... Um, I mean, he didn't do it on purpose, like, it was his job. But, yeah, he's, like, really cute as Chi. It's kind of funny all those, like, moments when he just, like, yelled at, out Chi as a freaking adult man. I was like, are you for real? Oh, but yeah. Uh, very, very full of passion. Love the CGs. Very big, strong man, Jupiter. Also, bath time with Chi was funny as well. It, uh, it, it ramped up. It went from funny to, like, ridiculous to pretty cool with, like, Zeus. Like, oh god, there's, like, an actual, like, baddie in this. And then it got resolved. And we got our happy ending. But, yeah, I feel like... I feel like if I had to pick a true ending, I feel like Alan... I feel like Alan felt like a true ending to me. <laughs> Alright, there should be one more chapter after the credits, unless it's not like, unless it's not like the other routes. No. I'm crying, you're so sensitive, even though it's supposed to be the lord of all gods. Guess we can't judge a book by its cover. Also, I wonder where all the other parasite five are. Do we just leave them in heaven? 
We left him in Celestia. Maybe they'll explain it after the after the credits. Alright. No. Biting the shoulder. Giving her a, a giant hickey. All right, we're back. Are we in? Where are we? This is like the this is like Cupid Court music. Dee -dee -dee. <laughs> Cupid Parasite. Okay, it's the title. Years have passed since I ascended to the rank of Juno. I guess she's no longer a bridal advisor. <laughs> to prevent other angels from suffering my and Professor Melville's fate, Jupiter and I, his wife, set out to create a new Celestia. One day, in the middle of, of world building, we took a glimpse at the human realm. Are we just playing around? I guess they're playing God. What do you mean, world building? <clears throat> I, feel like they, I feel like they didn't really build anything. Like, they mostly just kind of swayed human emotion, even like the other gods, or destroyed stuff. Look, Jupiter! Gil's book is a bestseller! Well, the Parasite 6. Good for him. More like the ridiculous 6. <laughs> uh, what is he he's writing about us? It's just like a- this, this is a work of fiction about these silly men. Aw. He's in a jacket. Like, he's kind of human, except he still has like that tattoo on his face. He grabbed- Grab, uh, he grabbed my waist as we watched our beloved world team below. Also, Lynette. Okay. Is that supposed to be Juno's dress? Well, I really, really saw Juno's dress as it was being like ripped apart. <laughs> and it, 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 it looked like, like her other clothes. Her other celestial clothes. Getting to know the human realm from the inside out bore fruit of unimaginable quality. And these fruits made Celestia too. It was well on its way to becoming a glitzy metropolis, just like Los York. <laughs> Great to know everyone's doing well. Mr. Aconite's latest blockbuster offerings were smash hits. Both Goddess on the Camel Part 2 and Jupiter garnered rave reviews. Yeah. It's a little embarrassing to see someone play you in a movie, especially him of all people. <laughs> uh, he has the build, I guess. He might not have the personality. I mean, maybe. When we talked about the oyster, he, he, had, he had the personality of Jupiter. He's like, oh no, Satan! But he saw the real Jupiter. He's an actor. At least he didn't play Zeus's part, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> Look at that! Ryuki's new line. The mythology collection is a hit. Who would have thought that his interpretation of Maya and Venus's outfits could mesh with Los York's crowds? That's the glamour parasite for you. <laughs> After all those trials and tribulations, they managed to make something great out of it. It does the heart proud. Mr. Snail turned Cupid Corporation into one of the biggest companies in Los York. That's the prestige parasite I remember. Come to think of it, he celebrated the launch of his of his Juno's dress subs subsidiary recently. <laughs> okay, what is that? Is that is that like a wedding a wedding outfitter? <laughs> like a dress outfitter? <laughs> I heard Shelby sought Ryuki's collaboration for the creative direction. <laughs> Those boys never fail to surprise. <clears throat> well, good thing they get along, because before they're like, you old man. <laughs> After Ryuki just insulted him. <laughs> Indeed, they're certainly entertainers. About Professor Melville, I heard he took over the underworld. Now he fancies himself as a demon king. Oh, okay, he's, he's Mo. He's, he's the demon lord. Are we going to have to fight him later? Coincidentally, I discovered my college friend Claris was a succubus all along. Okay, this... Reveal that, just slip that in there. While trotting the globe for her study abroad program, she's been feasting on the dreams of men across borders. Oh, getting the taste of all all, all sorts of, of men. To my surprise, it seems demons and gods are no strangers to the human realm after all. Oh, that reminds me. 
I saw Alan recently. He looked as handsome as ever. What? Unfair. You always go to the underworld alone. I want to see hot Alan. Haha, <laughs> sorry. But he settled well as the new Demon King. The role suits him. Though I was nervous he would try to steal you from me. Oh, please. Do you really still think that? You know we're married, right? That never stopped... That never stopped Alan. <laughs> yeah. Th that's true. Indeed. You're... My wife. That little bit of assurance seemed to convince Jupiter. Whose smiles bloomed like a rose in spring. Yes, you're right. Come on. With a smile like that, how could I say no? Peter was a sensitive parasite, a consequence to living out his life as a shadow. No wonder he never had any confidence. Therefore, I've made a habit of telling him just how much I love him. Jupiter, I love you. I love you too, Juno. Peter, I love you. Lynette, likewise, I love you too. Chi, we'll always be together. Chi! <laughs> we held each other tenderly and gazed upon the wondrous little rock below us. My precious children, if mankind was happy, then so were we. Were the gods necessary after all? Whenever humanity needed us, then we would be there. To those who know we exist, and those who doubt we do, and to everyone else too, we'll be watching over you. Whatever it takes to maintain peace. I recited a silent prayer, then turned to kiss my dear husband, Jupiter. Oh, finished! How sweet. I like I like this. It's so colorful. And a lot of fantasy, a lot of fantasy, mythology elements. But yeah, I like I like this Otome game. <laughs> Give it a ten out ten out of ten. Even with all the clowns, the clowns made it better. Okay, so I think we 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 did it all. Saw all the things. Does does the CGs get added? Ooh. Okay, these are just the events. These are chapters, right? Oh yeah, here are the CGs. Okay, yeah. We got case number six added. We can, we can relive through all the memories. <laughs> Ellen had a lot of demon mode here. <laughs> demon, demon, demons. D Massage? Cupcake! The real chi. <laughs> and then after that, no more chi. Is all, all Peter and Jupiter. Hmm. And there was kind of a progression, just like all Chi, and then Peter, and then mainly focused on Jupiter. But, I mean, at the end, he kind of kind of chose his Peter form, huh? Maybe that's what, what he had the most confidence in. Okay. And I think we have all the other events as well. And we can check out the other events as well. We should have all of them. Yeah, this is case number six on here. <laughs> it's added as well. Aw. Little chibi, little chibi Peter. <laughs> is he wrapped up in something? Oh, he's right wrapped up in a microphone wire. All these chapters. Yeah, there's like no choices in any of these chapters. This is a nice little, nice little, little story. Just get sucked into. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably do... Maybe some more Otome games in the future. Um, got like especially busy with work, so it's like it's pretty easy just to just to fall into a story like this. Um, and I almost forgot. Um, I think it's out in Japan only, but they announced a sequel or maybe more like a fan disc for this game. Uh, it's called. Like Cupid's Parasite, sweet and spicy. There's like additional scenes that are both sweet and spicy. <laughs> I saw I saw some of the some of the CGs like 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 we're doing some raunchy stuff like sex on the beach and, and whatnot. And there's some like really raunchy one of of Ryuki that we didn't really get that with Ryuki, probably because like he was supposed to be the young the young one, the innocent 
like moody young one, so that they didn't really do anything too risque with him, but there's a little bit more risque one in that fan disc. Um, and then there was like, they showed off another guy, so like there's a seventh route you can do in the fan disc. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll, if they ever do localize it, I will, I will check it out. Um, I don't know if I'll play it, usually it's like, I usually play old games. I don't know, I like, I like giving people the chance to like, experience it on their own. And then like, I'll pick it up later. I don't know, my life, my life is chaotic and a lot of times I can't get to stuff while they're, while they're still new. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching me though. I'm not, I'm not an Otome game uh, specialist. There's probably a lot better people that you could watch uh, for like these games, but I'm glad like you stuck stuck with me to the end. Th thank you. Uh, There's probably people a lot better at narrating. I feel like I flub up like my words a lot. I just get like stuck in a sentence. I'm like, wait, what does that say? <laughs> and I just like trip over my words, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next LP. Whatever that may be. Alright. Bye-bye.